we can take here in Congress. And unfortunately, this is probably the most ineffective um, you know, continue this process, which I don't think that they will. Uh, but with somebody is hear how passionate you are about this issue. And before our conversation, I was actually watching your campaign video. Securing the border was your top platform there in that video. And uh, this vote was on party lines. But as you know, a handful of your Republican colleagues voted against impeaching Mayorkas, one of them being Congressman Ken Buck. I do want to read a quote from him and then get your reaction. He said this. I prosecuted for 25 years. I know what a high crime and misdemeanor are, and I know that this doesn't qualify. This is a policy difference. You disagree, so what's your reaction to his quote there? Well, let me first just say I love Ken Buck. He's a friend of mine. But this won't be the first time, or I'm sure the last time, that I disagree with Ken Buck. Um, I don't, you know, I'm not some sheep up here that just comes in and does what everybody else has done. If you followed my career, you know that. Um, and like I, I, I kind of went through and laid out my case. Ken Buck has his case. Mike Gallagher has his case. Um, and I can't remember who the other guy is. And it really doesn't matter to me. The bottom line is I'm representing uh, my, my district and uh, I probably stand on my vote to impeach Secretary Mayorkas. And how does impeaching Secretary Mayorkas make this country safer? Another one of your colleagues, Congressman Tom McClintock, who voted against the impeachment, said this. This border crisis cannot be fixed by replacing one left-wing official with another. So to his point of just replacing one Biden official with another, how does impeaching Mayorkas make America safer? Well, like I told you, it's, it's far from where we need to be. You know, I, I went through and I, I think I tried to lay out to you, at least in, in my opinion, the, the things that we can do, um, mm -hmm. the actions that we can take here in Congress. And unfortunately, this is probably the most ineffective, in my opinion, uh, in, of all of them. But it's, it's one, you know, I look at this holistically and we're going to try, like I said, we're going to try and do everything that we can. And I did admit to you and I, I, I said, thanks for saying the quiet part out loud, you know, we're pretty confident that they will replace Secretary Mayorkas if the Senate was to follow through and actually, um, you know, continue this process, which I don't think that they will. Uh, but with somebody as bad or, or you know, or, or worse, the bottom line is uh, the American people want to see it. They want to see they want to see him have this asterisk, this black mark on his record for the rest of his life. Um, honestly, I think what he's done is treasonous. I really do. And, I, and I'm going to go a step further. I think it's only a matter of time. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. You start to see major attacks happening on Americans, in American cities, in American communities, by people that want to do this country harm because of what Biden, President Biden, and Secretary Mayorkas have done. And I can't see it as anything less than treasonous. That's a powerful charge there. You're raising some yeah, red flags, it is. definitely. It is. And it is. When, yeah, I know when you, you when you act when you act in a way that puts Amer the American people and their lives at stake and you don't listen to anybody, you know, you don't listen to anybody, including the Border Patrol agents, you know, uh, guys like myself that have a background in, you know, in, in security, special operations, et cetera. Um, and there are, uh, you, you got 100,000 people dying annually of fentanyl and you won't lift a finger to close the border. Matter of fact, you continue to go on national television shows and say that we need more immigration. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't I don't see it as any anything else. I know that we're probably not going to be able to make the legal case for that. But I'm just telling you straight up how I feel about this man, this administration and what they've done to the country in video securing the border was your top platform there in that. Well, let me first just say I love Ken Buck. He's a friend of mine. But this won't be the first time or I'm sure bad or or, you know, or, or worse. The bottom line is uh, the American people want to look at this holistically. And we're going to try, like I said, we're going to try and do everything that we can. And I did admit to you, they want to see they want to see him have this asterisk, this black mark on it. it really doesn't matter to me. The bottom line is I'm representing uh, my, my district. Republican colleagues voted against impeaching Mayorkas, one of them being Congressman Ken Buck. Here that just comes in and does what everybody else has done. If you followed my career, you know that. Uh, at least in, in my opinion, the, the things that we can do, um, the mm -hmm. actions that we said this, this border crisis cannot be fixed by replacing one left wing official with another.